pop, quirky and versatile. The Matchbox Art in India has always been a brilliant showcase of the most unexpected and eye-catching imagery. From mythological figures, radiant flowers, retro automobiles, celebrities or something as bizarre as this big boss monkey talking over the phone, these tiny canvases depict a vast range of subjects. Did you know, before World War I, most of India's matches were imported, mainly from Sweden, Austria and Japan. Around 1910, Japanese immigrants brought matchmaking to Calcutta where locals picked up this craft. As match production boomed, so did demand and some small matchmaking units came up in different parts of the country. In 1923, the Swedish match company established Wimco which became a leading force in the market. Faced with stiff competition, only the units around one region in South India could survive and expand. Two visionary brothers, Ayanadar and Shanmuganadar are credited to the growth of the match industry of Shiv Kashi. In the 20s, they spent over six months working at a Japanese firm in Calcutta to learn the process and set up their own enterprise after coming back to their hometown. The dry weather, abundant raw materials and cheap labour helped them build a thriving industry. Known as the Match Kings of South India, to this day a group of closely related Indian families still make most of the country's matches and fireworks. As matchboxes became essential, the packaging evolved as the key to differentiation and competition. In the early days, importers used vivid illustrations and bold colours to attract Indian consumers. Indian artists adapted these designs by adding traditional imagery and lettering. Back in the day, mythological figures inspired by Raja Ravi Verma's paintings were common. Later, these boxes showcased an array of themes including brightly coloured household objects like these ones. Well, this one's my favourite. I mean, just look at him. Aren't you jealous of how happy this cute little bear is? From flora and fauna to lovebirds and roses, most of these labels had striking borders and irregular typefaces that stood out. The labels also commemorated important historical events. The nationalist movement brought illustrations of Bharat Mata, our national leaders and patriotic symbols like the spinning wheel. Following India's independence, the tricolour, Ashok Chakra and a map of India were featured in the designs. They even portrayed the changes in modern society and culture. In the 90s, brands and logos came in the picture. And how could they leave a filmy fanfare behind? You can spot famous actors like Amitabh Bachchan in Kohli or Nergis in Mother India. Since the industry was primarily based in southern India, popular South Indian actors were also prominently featured. With the advent of technology and new printing techniques, the art was being constantly reinvented. Initially, hand-drawn illustrations using stippling, shading and intricate detailing were the norm, but later the designs began to be digitized. Sadly, we lost the original artistic appeal somewhere along the way. Yet, there is no denying that a large number of talented yet anonymous artists have created a unique identity for this simple day-to-day -day product. A collector's item today, these quirky old matchboxes are truly a window to Indian visual culture. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments which artwork was your favorite. Thanks for watching.